you're interested to know how to use a mercury thermometer. A mercury thermometer has been the mainstay of taking temperatures for years and years. My name is Beverly Bitterman, ARNP, Health and Wellness Consultant, and I'm going to tell you how to use this mercury thermometer. Um, you see here, it's, a, it's a, I don't know what, three or four inches long. Um, the temperature, you can read it, it's, it's along the side of the thermometer, and it actually has mercury. The silver tip is filled with mercury. Uh, it's housed in this glass tube, so it's safe unless it breaks, and we'll talk about that in a minute. What you want to do before you use the thermometer is to what we call shake it down. And you, you, you go like this and it's a little flick of the wrist kind of deal, and you're mechanically moving the mercury from th this end of the thermometer down to the bulb end. And you want to make sure that you've shaken it down below, um, probably below 97 degrees would be ideal. Now, the thing with the mercury thermometer, it's it's nice, versatile instrument. It can be used under uh, the tongue, um, that's an ideal place to use it, but a child probably needs to be three or four years of age to use it there. You can also use it um, under the arm, and in babies, you can use it rectally. Often people will have one thermometer for rectal use, just for obvious reasons, and one for oral reuse, although you would want to clean the thermometer with soap and water, soap and cold water in any case. So now you're, let's say you're going to take it, uh, the th temperature under the tongue, um, you've shaken it down, you put it underneath the tongue all the way in, like that, and you get the person to hold their mouth shut. They need to do that for about two minutes. If you're doing it under the arm, it can take a little bit longer, maybe three minutes. Rectally, maybe um, two minutes is probably still a good idea. Uh, if you're going to use it rectally, then you're going to put a little lubricant, KY jelly or Vaseline, on the tip of it and, and put it in generally a child's um, bottom and they're laying on their dressing table or the counter or on your lap. That's a good way. Uh, once you think the thermometer is done, then you turn the thermometer so that you can see the mercury and you read where is it on the dial. 98.6 is normal orally. 97.6 is, is normal under your arm, and 99.6 is normal rectally. So you have a fever in either of those places if the temperature is higher than that. Um, if you should break the thermometer, what you need to do is not touch the mercury with um, your hand. You want to use gloves. My name is Beverly Bitterman, ARNP, Health and Wellness Consultant.